Imagine being able to play your favorite games, but in the most immersive way possible, in full virtual reality. The promise of running these games in VR is now made possible with mods developed by various talented individuals and the whole Flat 2 VR community. On the hardware side, there's something new on the horizon, which we will touch on later in the video. First, we will cover three ways you can play some of your favorite games in VR. We will start with the Real VR mod by Luke Ross. You can find it on his Patreon page. We strongly recommend you read his posts and updates as you will find helpful tips for specific titles. Locate the newest version of the mod and download it. Open Steam, and make sure you've launched the game at least once in normal mode before installing the mod. In this tutorial, we will be modding Hogwarts Legacy. To install the mod, right-click on the game in your library and select Properties. In the General tab, make sure that Use Desktop Game Theater while Steam VR is active is turned off. Go into the Installed Files tab and click on Browse. This will take you to the folder where your game is installed. The mod is always copied into the folder where the main executable is found. For Hogwarts Legacy, you open the Phoenix folder, Binaries, Win64, and this is the folder where you will copy over the files you've downloaded from Luke Ross's Patreon page. Once copied, launch the real config.bat, and if you see this message, the mod is installed correctly, you can now launch the game, and if you have a VR headset connected it should start in VR. Once in the game you can press the delete key on your keyboard to bring up the mod menu overlay that's only visible inside the headset. We advise you read through all the options and get familiarized with them. With that done you are now ready to immerse yourself in the VR experience. The real VR mod is currently available for Atomic Heart, Cyberpunk 2077, Dark Souls Remastered, Elden Ring, Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, Ghost Runner, Ghostwire Tokyo, Grounded, High on Life, Hogwarts Legacy, Horizon Zero Dawn, Stray, Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales, Uncharted for a Thief's End, and The Lost Legacy. The next modder we want to showcase is Prey Dog and his ReFramework platform featured on his GitHub page. We advise you to read the whole introduction written here. To download the mod, click on Releases, scroll down and click on Newer Builds. Scroll down and you will find the individual files needed to play specific games. In this tutorial, we will mod Resident Evil Village. Click on RE8.zip to download it. Like with the previous mod, make sure you run the game at least once in normal mode before installing ReFramework. To install the mod, find Resident Evil Village and right-click on it. Select Properties. In the General tab, make sure the Use Desktop Game Theater while Steam VR is active is turned off. Go into the Installed Files tab and click on Browse. This is the folder where the main executable for the game is found. Copy everything except the OpenVR API file if you plan to use OpenXR. We will be using the Oculus Quest Pro for this tutorial so we will leave out the OpenVR API file and copy the rest of the content over to the Resident Evil Village folder. You are now ready to launch the game, and if you have a VR headset connected, it should start in VR. Inside the game you will find these mod options in the top left of the screen. We advise you familiarize yourself with these options, and experiment to see what works best for you. We left everything at default and the game is ready to be played. Dog's mod currently supports Devil May Cry 5, Monster Hunter Rise, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, 7, Village, and Street Fighter 6. It's also worth mentioning that Dog is working on a universal Unreal Engine mod, which would make any Unreal Engine game into a full VR experience. The last mod we will cover in this video is Warpix. It is available for purchase on the Warpix website. We recommend you check out the FAQ and basic facts panels on the website before digging in. Once you download and install Warpix, you will find these three icons. Double click on Configure Warpix and you will be greeted with this screen. Select the General tab and in the drop down menu, choose the headset you will be using to play. In this tutorial, we will be using the Quest Pro again. 
so we choose the Oculus option. In the Local Profiles tab, you can see which games have the generic profile already available, but we strongly recommend you check out Cloud Profiles as well. For this, you will need to register an account. Once you're logged in, you can search for any game and see if there are user-generated profiles. In this tutorial, we will be playing GTA 5 in VR, so we look up GTA 5 in the Cloud Profiles and select one that we will use. Click on Import Profile and select OK. Click on Apply and Close. This will minimize war picks, but it will stay active in your tray. Open Steam, locate GTA 5, right-click on it and select Properties. In the General tab, make sure the Use Desktop Game Theater while Steam VR is active is turned off. Click on the Play button, and if your VR headset is powered on and connected to the PC, the game should launch in VR. Inside the game, you can press the Delete key, which should bring up the in-game overlay window visible only in the VR headset. Warpix offers quite a lot of options that can radically change the experience, and we strongly advise you to experiment with them and see what works best for you. Once happy, you are ready to cause mayhem in GTA 5. Keep in mind that you can play in both third and first person to your preference. Warpix currently supports hundreds of games in full 3D VR. Important tip to remember is that you need to turn off Warpix completely if you want to play games normally, or using Luke Ross's real VR mod or Preydog's reframework. To turn off Warpix, open up your tray, right-click on the Warpix icon, and click on Exit. We, here at Neurosync Laboratories, have been working on a device that lets you enjoy these games in the most safe, comfortable, and immersive way possible. We've developed the C Infinity, a new type of controller used to play these games. Today, we have various simulators, driving, flying, and more. But now, we present the C Infinity, the next evolution in simulation. It allows you to walk, run, jump, ride, fly, and shoot all in VR. Much like a steering wheel is essential for racing games, our device lets you navigate by using hand movements and slight rotations of your upper body. To move forward, simply pull on the Infinity controllers. For moving backward, gently push them. To rotate, just turn your upper body in the desired direction. To strafe you, simply slide your finger into the lever on the controller. The C Infinity isn't just a regular controller. It offers unparalleled immersion through a neurological brain hack. As you control movement, biological sensors in your skin transmit signals to a part of the brain that partially overlaps with the motion processing part of the brain. This overlap allows for electrical signals to move from one to the other part of the brain, and when confirmed by the visuals the VR headset displays. This creates an unmatched sense of real motion. For those who love VR but struggle with motion sickness, Sea Infinity can be a game changer. It mitigates nausea, ensuring that your VR headset remains in use. Dive back into VR and experience your favorite worlds in true virtual reality. You've known VR in one way. Now, Sea Infinity offers a new, safer, and more comfortable way to play, no matter the size of your space. The most captivating universes are waiting in your library. Experience them firsthand in the most immersive way possible with Sea Infinity.